This neighbor talk. We will meet Red. Hi, Red. Say hi to everyone. Hey, hi guys. So those of you who don't know me, I've been uh, kneeboarding for about 45 years and uh, had some moderate success being able to turn a board, uh, which has some importance. Uh, I think when you're designing boards, you need to be able to turn them. So Red, how did you get into shaping? Well, I've, I've been lucky enough over the years to work with some of the best shapers in the world. But around 15 years ago or so, I was struggling to achieve what I wanted through those uh, shapers. So I decided to get into this new thing called uh, computer, computer aided design or computer shaping. Uh, and so I started working on that. And then um, about 10 years ago or so, I, I decided I'd build my own machine. And this isn't here. Uh, so I, cut my, I can cut my own boards on my machine, which means I control the whole process from design through to uh, manufacture. So what would you like to achieve in your uh, shaping? Good question. Let's go inside where the, where the boards are and we'll talk about that. Okay. So here we are in the boardroom and, and Jane will film the boards as we go through. Uh, it's actually at my dining room, but I was sick of all the boards being out of sight in the shed. So we moved them out here, especially also to show Jane's artwork. So what am I trying to achieve? Well, many years ago, I noticed there was a tendency in boards, pro surfers and knee boards, uh, to wobble through their bottom turns. And I put down this wobble to um, the thickness flow, especially in the rails, where the thickest point of the rail was often at the widest point of the board, which is often back towards midpoint or, 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 or maybe two inches forward at midpoint. Uh, and that didn't seem to me to be the correct kind of foiling to have. So I've worked quite hard over the years to try to change the foiling so that when the board is on its rail, the, the rail acts like a foil and pulls the board through the water. And the way you do that is, of course, like a fin, you put the thickest part of the foil up in the fir front third of the, of the fin, and then you taper it off behind. And that's how my uh, rail foiling has been set up. Uh, and that's basically what I've been working to achieve. Uh, I've ended up with boards. I've been working on the same pin tail, uh, a rounded pin, for about 10 years. But uh, I think I've ended up with something that, that'll surf 2 foot to 8 foot. Uh, it'll go seamlessly from bottom to top. It uh, doesn't require any correction. So I think I've, I've achieved what I wanted to set out to achieve with that model. Uh, but also there were other issues that I, I concentrated on, and that's rocker and, um, and rail profile in particular. You'll notice my rail profiles are somewhat different. Thanks right. for your time. Thank you, Rhett.